Hey guys, welcome back. Mike here at MS Tutorials. Well guys, today we're going to do another request and this request was for a game scene and the question was can you model a traditional trash can? So not the plastic one but the metal one, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Should be a fairly quick process, okay? We're going to take a polygon cylinder, drag that out, pull that up, and in our attribute editor let's give that 40 subdivisions and zero caps, okay? Let's make sure that height is okay, so I'll just stretch it out maybe a bit more. Looks all good, all right. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to this view, right click vertex, drag select, oh, I got my B select on, don't worry about that. And we're just gonna scale that out just to give it that typical trash can shape all right then we're going to right click at a face delete the top face select the one on the bottom edit mesh extrude under face hit r scale it in just slightly g to repeat and w to push in just a little so you get something like this all right okay cool next Mesh tools, insert edge loop tool, option box, single setting, and let's add an edge loop up here, and we'll add one down here. All right, Q on your keyboard, close that down, zoom in, right click face, and we're going to select every other face here. That shouldn't take too long. And if you started off with an equal number of subdivisions, you should be okay to do this all the way around in a symmetrical way. There we go. And we're gonna go to Edit Mesh and Extrude Under Face. And we're gonna do a thickness of minus 0.4. And there we go. So this is the shape you're going to get. Okay. Maybe we'll just go back a little bit. Minus is 0 0.5. Maybe even more than that. Minus 0 0.7. That looks a bit better. All right. Now that we have that, right click object mode, select it, edit mesh, and extrude under face. And we're going to extrude the whole thing, 0 0.2. Let's see how that looks. That's not bad. Okay. So that's that part. Now let's work on the lid. Okay. Polygon pipe. Pull that up. Let's do 5 on the caps. Let's do 40 on subdivisions. Let's go to our Polycylinder 2 tab and set the translate values to zero. So it's nice and centered. Right click object mode. Looks a bit jumpy. Pull that up. And from our top view, hit four. Okay, our can seems to be off a little bit. So let's set that back to zero. There we go. So. Let's see what we got. That's our lid, yep. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale that in until it almost matches because we still need to extrude that guy. And before we do anything else, we have to get rid of these faces on the inside, okay? So, that's that. And these seem to be a little bit less responsive, if you know what I mean. So I'll just have to do that manually. Sometimes that happens, and there's, oops, there's probably a very good reason for that. But it is what it is. Okay, 
Make sure we've got nothing else. All right. And get rid of those as well. Okay. Now, the top of the lid is not completely flat. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to vertex, drag select the top vertex, hold down B, and then hold down B and uh, middle mouse click and drag out. So I want everything at the top to be affected. So I'm going to hit W and I'm going to pull that up. This is going to deform the top, as you can see. And that's exactly what I want. Okay. Okay. I'm going to click B again to get rid of that. And I need to adjust the height of the lid. So we're going to move to the shoe here. Right click vertex. Drag select that. Bring that up to about so. And then go to edit mesh, insert edge tool option box. And we're going to add some edges. So one there and one there. Q on our keyboard. We're going to zoom in. Right click face. And what we're going to do is actually let's just uh, take that entire row. Edit mesh. Extrude. Hit R. And scale that in just slightly, like so. All right. And let's see. What we'll do is mesh tools, into the edge loop tool option box. We're still good. We'll add one edge right there. Hit Q on our keyboard. Right click face. There we go. Edit mesh. Extrude. And hit R and W just to get that little edge up there. Let's see if that's not too thin. Yeah, it is. Control Z, Control Z. We'll just do W like that. Right click object mode, hit three to see how that works. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We're going to hit one to go back. Okay. So now that we got that, let's see if it fits. So we need to extrude the whole thing. Object mode, edit mesh, extrude, 0 0.2. All right. Object mode. Let's move that down. As you can see, we need to tweak it a little bit. So we're going to hit R. We're going to scale that out. That looks all clean. Okay, now we're going to create a few handles for this guy. All right. Click that out. And what we'll do is we'll take a polygon cube. Um, let's do that. We're going to go to Mesh Tools, enter the Azure Tool Option Box. We'll do multiple and we'll do, let's do 10. There you go. Let's find our correct angle. Uh, let me see. Yeah, we'll do it from the top. Okay. So close this down. Right click Vertex. And we'll leave two at that end and two at that end. And we're going to raise that up. Select these. Two about there. Scale it in a little bit. And now we're going to take these two. And we're going to push them in just a little. And take these two and push them in just a little. 
All right. Right click object mode. Let's rotate that. Minus 90. Uh, let's see. Should be something like that. 90 and 90. We're going to set our translate values to zero. We're going to move to our top view. Hit F to zoom in. W to move out. As you can see, it's way too big. So we're going to scale it in quite a bit. And hit W to move in. And let's see where we're at. to zoom in. Let's just see if it's too big or not. Size is actually not bad. I'm just trying to see if we can make this work in a way that it fits our panels, if you will. And this is always tricky when you start to rotate things but it just looks cleaner. So we'll hit W. We're going to right click on vertex. Well, that's not going to work. Let's see. We'll do it from here. Right click vertex. We'll take these and these. Let's see how far that's going to move in to there. And we'll take these and these. And we'll take these and these. And hopefully I'm not messing anything up on the other end of my model. Hope not. Okay. So that's that. Right click object mode. Let's see how that looks. Pretty good. Um, we're just going to create some uh, some kind of connection. Let's not do that. Let's do a Polygon cylinder, pull that up. Let's set subdivisions to six. Let's rotate that to minus 90. We're going to hit R, we're going to scale it in quite a bit. Hit W, bring that in. F to zoom in, R to scale down. Let's rotate it a little. And bring that in. All right. Control D to copy that. I'll bring that over and bring that out. F to zoom in. E to rotate. Let's see how that looks. Okay, we're going to bring it in just a little. So, yep, there we go. One, two, three, mesh, combine. Modify center pivot. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate. Move that over. Hit E and flip that over to 180. W to bring that in. F to zoom in. Now let's see if it's. Of course, it doesn't fit. 
So let's see what we can do to fix that. Well, the only reasonable thing would be to move it over. And looks like I got my wrong handle. Hang on. Because it has to be on the extruded sides of the can. Because that simply makes more sense. Okay. That's okay. And we're going to hit Control D once again. We're going to bring that up. We're going to hit E to rotate that to 0, 0, and 90. And before we get that guy in place, we're just going to add a little detail to our top here. Okay. So we're going to right click face. We're going to take these two rows, edit mesh, extrude, hit W. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll push that up. Now we'll push that down. All right. Now, where's our handle at? Right there. Right click object mode. Set our translate values to zero to get it centered. And that doesn't look very centered, so we'll just uh, bring that up manually. Check from our top view. Let's snap that to the middle. And this guy needs to be at zero on this one as well. That looks a bit better. And let's see if that is fitting or not. Okay, so here we need to tweak our shape. First of all, it seems to be a bit off angle-wise. Okay, so we're going to right-click at a vertex, and we're going to select these and Same here. Rotate, bring up. Right click object mode. And let's just see what we got. Okay, fits nicely into our shape here. All right, okay, drag select the whole thing, mesh, combine, we're gonna create a ground plane. Nice and large. Let's make sure our can is sitting on our grid. I have to zoom in. Okay, we're going to set up our render window. Let's add some material to this here. Apply new material. Let's do a Fong E. And let's make that white. And we'll just simply throw on a texture here. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Assign new material. Let's do a... Um, we don't want it to be too shiny, but we'll just do a blend and then bring that back. We're going to hit our checker box on color, select file. And I have a file called galvanized. Just going to hit this guy here. Okay, we do need to tweak it a little bit, otherwise it's going to look horrible. Okay, so we're going to mesh separate select that guy create uv's let's do cylindrical mapping which already looks much better 
We'll take the lid, object mode, create new fees, planar mapping, not ideal. Let's see what it comes up with if we do automatic mapping. Well, we'll have a look at that in a second, but this row doesn't look too bad. Let's check the handles here. Great UVs, automatic mapping. That's okay. This guy as well. Object mode. Automatic mapping looks better. And this one as well. Object mode. Automatic mapping. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's set this up for our render. Go to our render settings. Let's do, um, okay, hang on guys, my mental ray isn't loaded. Windows settings preferences, plugin manager. And that happened more often lately. Let's just quickly see where it is. There you go. We'll just give that a sec. All right, so we got that. Back to render settings, mental ray, indirect lighting, image base lighting global illumination and final gathering under a quality tab make sure ray tracing is selected good increase quality to about 1.5 in our common tab we'll do an image size of HD 1080 and we need to select an HDRI image so I'm going to go to documents my HDRI and I get this question a lot. Where did you get these HRI files? You can download them for free on all sorts of websites. Just uh, Google for free HDRI and uh, you'll figure it out. All right. I'm just going to apply that one. Let's see what that looks like. Not quite sure he loaded it yet because, oh, there's something coming. We'll see it soon enough in our render. I'm going to add an additional light, create lights, point light. Just going to pull that up, hit seven on my keyboard so I can kind of see what my light's doing. This is my aim. Okay. And let's give this a try. Okay. I'll hit render and I'll be back when the render is done. See you in a sec. All right, guys, and we're back. Well, this is the final render. I um, changed the color of the floor from white to black because there was a little bit too much light in the scene. Uh, but we're not quite done yet because I'm just going to show you a couple of tips to make this look a little bit more realistic. Okay, so we're going to minimize this. First, we're going to take our entire trash can and make sure we don't have the, uh, the floor selected. Make sure it's combined, if not already. And we're going to scale the heck out of this thing. And make sure there's no distortion because I saw something going on, I think. And it's quite possible that I overstretched it. So we'll do something like so which looks okay, still on our ground plane. And more importantly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bang it up a bit, okay? So for example, up here, if you go to vertex and you take a few of these vertices and just push that in, right? And just kind of create some dents left and right, okay? And you can, for example, hold down the B key to just 
help you with that. Reason being that usually trash cans are beat up pretty much. So on the sides here, we don't really have any vertices. So we're going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool Option Box. And let's do Single. And we'll just do a few of these. I'll hit B to turn that off. We're going to right click. We're going to go to Vertex. Oops. Hit Q on your keyboard. Take a few of these. And make sure you move them in a direction that makes sense and don't move them too far because as you can see you will penetrate the wall of your inner can okay so a few more just so it doesn't look so pristine okay and let's give that another go That's about the right angle. I'm going to hit render again. See you guys in a sec. Right, guys, here we go. This is our final render. Um, you know, it's not banged up too bad, but, you know, that's kind of a personal choice, whatever scene you're uh, working on. Um, so this is pretty much the end result. Uh, if you got any questions, as always, just uh, let me know. Uh, if you want to be informed about upcoming tutorials or um, you know you got questions or whatnot, uh, you can um, find me on my Facebook page, uh, MH Tutorials. And uh, that said, thanks for watching. I'd love to see you guys again. Bye.